Hi, I'm Mitch Reed. Welcome to my vlog. And today I'm going to talk about, about bows. Um, and I thought what would be interesting to talk about bows is how bows are all different. Some are heavy, some are light. And I own four bows. Um, and they're really all different. <clears throat> it's kind of like they all have their own personality. And they make me play differently. Um, just like fiddles are the same way. Um, but I thought what I would focus on is the difference between a light bow and a heavy bow, or a somewhat heavy bow. Um, so the, what I'll do is I'll start off first with the light bow. I own this light bow. Actually, some of these bows I kind of got accidentally, um, just with fiddles, trading fiddles, and finding bows in cases and things like that. Um, and so uh, what's, what's fun about it is just experimenting with different bows getting different tones um, and also making it also makes you play differently. So this light bow that I have, um, so I'm a Cajun fiddler, Cajun Creole fiddler. So um, I probably wouldn't use it for a gig so much so, uh, especially playing with an accordion because an accordion is very loud instrument. You, you really need to dig in on the fiddle with an accordion. So you try to get as much volume as you can out of your fiddle, which a heavier bow is going to help. Um, but if I would play a fiddle gig, or even if somebody asked me to play something really soft and uh, smooth and nice, delicate, uh, I would, I would, I found using this uh, light bow has is, is really been nice. So uh, it could be anything from <clears throat> Ashokan's Farewell to The Lover's Waltz to um, uh, you know, any kind of soft, gentle song, but it also does work for some really pretty Cajun waltzes. So, uh, so I was thinking this would be a nice one, maybe as an example, would be uh, Ti Je Noir, which is kind of has a nice, soft, the melody is so pretty in Ti Je Noir that you can really, um, it's really nice to bring it out. So here's the light bow that I have. <laughs> So what I find with this bow, um, I also have to watch the tension of the hair because sometimes um, I forget that I'm using this bow and I want to get a little bit more action. So I'll <clears throat> tighten, tighten it up and then I start to kind of go overboard and start to lose that dip. So you got to watch out for that. Uh, the, the thing is when you get bows is to figure out what the personality of the bow is, what it's, what, what it's going to do for you. Everybody's different too, um, so it, it really is a personal thing. Um, so this is the light bow that I like. Um, I hate to say, but if somebody calls me to play at a funeral or a wedding, this is probably the bow that I take because it just, um, you know, those those are situations where I would probably play something very soft and gentle. Um, all right, and then I have my heavy bow. <laughs> So this is one that I would definitely use if I was doing a gig, um, especially like a three-piece gig, and uh, especially acoustic, because uh, every now and then I'll get uh, a call to play for a backyard party or something, and it'll be me, Jimmy Bro, and Randy B. Dream or something, and uh, we play acoustic. So the accordion is, is naturally very loud, or louder than the fiddle. So using a heavier bow, I'm able to get I'm just the, the weight of the bow can kind of pull the sound out a little bit more. So doing those, especially seconding, doing those shuffles. That kind of thing. Also, even when I play the high strings as well, you know. So that as well. So that's the heavier bows. So 
that's the thing I wanted to talk about today is just look at maybe if you own more than one bow, look at what you got and look at maybe try them both, see uh, the different sounds you get from them and think about it because you can use that to your advantage. Uh, the other thing is if you only own one bow, it's good to know what it is. Is it heavy? Is it light? Because you may be playing a certain way and you're wondering why am I playing that way? And so by knowing that you own a heavy bow or a light bow, that'll help a lot. Uh, I usually recommend uh, with beginners, people who are starting totally from scratch to get um, a heavier bow because letting just the weight of the bow do the work is gonna help you to get a good tone. Whereas a lighter bow is gonna wanna bounce around a little bit. Um, it's gonna be more jumpy. Uh, and lighter bows take a little bit more experience, a little bit more bow control to handle. So that was just my thoughts today. I had a couple of people uh, ask about that and I thought I would discuss that. So hopefully I answered some of those questions and thanks so much for joining me. If you wanna learn some new tunes, uh, I'm breaking down a bunch of tunes this week uh, on my website. Go to mitchreadmusiclessons.com and check that out as well. Okay, thanks so much for joining me today. Stay inspired, keep on fiddling, and I'll see you out there soon. Thanks.